Hey guys, this is Abigail. As you can see, I have already picked out my pumpkin. Um, it's a like a medium sized loin. Kind of hard to find a small one, but if you want to try looking for one, that's totally up to you. Um, I got mine from Aldi's, but I know you can get them like at most other stores like Publix or Kroger's. Um, it just, the price might be slightly different. And Aldi's, it was pretty cheap. It was only like two or three dollars, so. The first thing I did once I got my pumpkin was I went ahead and washed it to get off all the dirt and get it ready to be painted. So the next step is going to be setting up your painting station. So we got a few things here. First, you'll probably want something to paint on top of so you don't mess up your surface or anything like that. Um, for this, you can use paper towels like I used, or you can use newspaper, or really anything that you don't mind messing up to cover your surface. I also have some paint here. So this is just some real basic acrylic paint. Artist Loft, not the best quality, but it will suffice for this project. Paint can be slightly more pricey. Um, there are a couple stores you can look at. Some might have discounts or coupons you can look at getting, such as Michael's or um, Joann's or any of those uh, craft stores or anything. I also have a paintbrush. Um, since I'm going to be doing a base coat, I got a bigger brush so that um, it, it makes the time go quicker. I also have a little tub here to put the paint in and a water cup right over here just in case I need to rinse my brush. I probably won't use it for the first step, but later on when I'm doing more details, I might. I also have a roll of paper towels and just in case anything gets anywhere and I need to wipe it up quickly. So I added some paint to my container. As you can see, it's, um, it's a good amount, not too much, not too little. I probably will need more, but I don't want to start with too much and then have waste a lot of paint afterwards. So now that we've got our supplies, we are ready to get started. Okay, so um, when you're first, before you even start painting, really you should go through and come up with an idea of what you would like to do um, and kind of make a plan. So let's search. Um, Okay, and then let's look at some of these images. So what we're kind of going for is more of a design, like something like this. If you don't want to do a base color, this is something that uh, you could do. So I am going to do something with like fall and like leaves and that sort of thing. So I'm going to search up falling leaves. Okay, and so this is just to give me an idea of what I could do, like the positions of the leaves and how I might show that they're falling. Um, so I'm looking at the form and the shape and even the color just to get an idea of what kind of colors I might want to use. And I just kind of go through and look. And these will probably be some of the photos that I reference as I go ahead and paint. So the first thing that I'm doing now is I am painting my background. I'm doing a nice neutral white um, because of the design that I want to do. You don't have to paint the pumpkin a base layer. You can if you want or you can just leave it to the orange color that it came. So once you're done, um, some of the most important things are to make sure to wash your brush. Um, you do not want it to dry with any paint in it because it will make the brush really hard and really stiff. So just make sure you wash your brush, brush out and really like pull it apart and make sure that all the paint is out and then reshape it once you're done. This is my leaf. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. It's very lightly drawn on there and I'm going to cut it out. So now that I have my stencil, I can go ahead and get my pumpkin and start drawing. So as you guys can see, I've already drawn lots of leaves onto my pumpkin. 
Um, I used a few different sizes and shapes stencils to get this look. So as you can see, I've got all my leaves drawn onto my pumpkin now. So I'm going to move on to painting. As you can see, I have three different color here, colors here. I have yellow, orange, and red. These are more of the basic fall colors. I'll probably add some purples and maybe some greens into it later on with more detail. And I have already poured some paints. Also, one more thing. This is probably where the water bowl is gonna be way more important to uh, rinse off between colors and have paper towels in order to wipe the brushes on. As you can see, I've got the base layer done for most of my leaves. I decided with um, doing a the lightest color first and doing it in the foreground so that those leaves pop the most. I'm going to go back and do these smaller leaves in an orange color and then probably go and do some details. So there's my second base coat and now I'm going to go on to adding details. So I have started to add some more details to the leaves. Um, some things I found is that you can color with color pencils onto the paint. You just have to be careful not to press too hard otherwise the base layer will come off. I will continue to work on this and post a picture of the final product.